Welcome everyone to our October 1st uh, meeting of the Water and Sewer Commission. If somebody would like to make a motion to accept the September 10th minutes. Move that we accept the minutes of last month. So moved. Uh, Mike, geological survey study, how is that coming along? It's going well. Um, they came out two um, weeks ago or three weeks ago. They put in some... Um, uh, sensors in the in the stream that feeds the lake. They put one near the outlet, uh, the spillway, um, and they put they took the boat out, did a bunch of sampling, and then there's another buoy out on the back side of the lake. If you look when you go by, you can see there's a buoy way out back, which has a string of sensors on it, and they'll pull that out probably. November before the ice goes on or something like that. And then they'll put another one back out in the spring. Um, so a bunch of samples every week, sampling the, collecting the rain and sampling that. And they were out here today. I was doing the uh, cyanobacteria sampling today. So I didn't get to see them, but they went and did their, went and did their thing. Um, collected some samples and grabbed some data from the sensors that they have in that the lake and the, the feeder stream and now is that the is there stream is there stream feeding in that lake very uh, very little it's barely running how are we doing on the the board uh, i i measured measured it yesterday it was four and a quarter inches below overflow so okay. we lost quite a bit of water due to the beavers chewing the boards off um they chewed the middle one and then lifted the top one out i don't know how they did it <laughs> I went up there to measure because I've been measuring quite a bit lately because of the study. Mm -hmm. And um, the water was just ripping out of there. And I was like, oh, my God, you got to be kidding me. Well, I thought beavers blocked dams. I didn't know. Well, they, they, let, were... they let it out because the small side is where they have a dam, too. Oh. So they're never happy, I guess. So <laughs> um, <laughs> we... so I, I put bo a new board back in and I put all kinds of galvanized banding like 16th inch thick steel banding on it. And then they chewed that overnight, they chewed in between the banding, which is that far apart, <laughs> but they seem to have stopped. So. I, no, we still are after those guys or not? Yes, I have a, a, a trapper. He has got a 10 day um, emergency permit and he's doing the feeder stream and the reservoir. And the small size. He catching some fellas. Yeah, they got a lot last year. He got a, he got over twenty of them out of there. I think twenty just on the small side. No, has he started? He started yesterday. Because they're they're damming up a lot at the the feeder stream to the culverts we put in years ago. Hmm. I've been up there almost every day. You know, trying to these flow sensors. They're going to get these rushes of water by, and then it's going to. I I told them it's going to be kind of a. Hmm you know, kind of fake flow, I guess you would say, not accurate, I guess, because it's going to be such a big rise in the flow and then it's going to taper back off. But um, so <laughs> there he, he's he's on the he's on get them, getting them out of there. They haven't been too persistent. They were very persistent. And then I'm messed with them almost every day and then they got a little less persistent but it's getting to be fall obviously so they're going to be putting their feed beds in and getting rubbed up yeah yeah so what do, what do you bait a beaver bed it's a it's called beaver caster there's a there's something they put on in the traps and they are attracted to the smell i know that's what ernie beckwith always used to use good poplar they like fresh poplar yeah, fresh, fresh poplar. poplar yeah that's another popular item good stuff oh, the good stuff. <laughs> sure. the, you know the small yeah yeah <laughs> okay uh mike the uh, bits on the epoxy floor and yeah we, mike and i went over those i um uh yesterday and um he gave me the approval to award that to uh a low bidder um, who came out two weeks ago, and he's the one that gave us the budget number. Um, so that's going to be that's going to be a little bit of a project because it takes them a few days to get everything. So um, I can go in there in the mornings because it takes eight hours to dry overnight, and it'll be fine to walk on in the morning. So 
Uh, but we got to get everything out of there, workbenches and all. Really? Yeah, we got to do get all the stuff out of there. They're going to do the section right near the um, uh, alum and the hypochlorite first, so we can then they can focus on the rest of the of the plant and not have to be kind of in you a, can move around there kind of in a hurry because those are the two chemicals we have to feed. We can mm -hmm. we can um, work the other side. We don't have to worry about. There's no nothing over there that has to be you know going so mm -hmm. everything up and off the floor okay uh the weather service reporting is that yeah that's going good um not to, not much to report lately but i just put them in the 1.37 inches and it rained i think three different days that's what we had for the whole month of september so you get the data immediately also or not? Uh, well, what do you mean? Like, I, I like do the do you have a screen or recording thing there? Yeah, it's online, and then you it's just online. you just hit you know save changes or whatever, and they get they get it instantly. Yeah, he measures it at the plant and rain gauge. <laughs> yeah, you get we measure. I mean, they've been doing it since nineteen nineteen. We have all the books from since so, they started. It's so, for comparison purposes, um, how far below normal are we? I, I'm not sure of all that information. Not, I mean, it's got to be below, way well below mm -hmm. our monthly average. I'm, I would imagine we're probably four or five inches for the month of September, I would think. <clears throat> yeah, actually, it's pretty good for our, our reservoir to, to be that good. Yeah. Being in such a... Yeah. You don't hear anything about, you know, a drought or... But um, that's certainly... Um, we're I haven't heard that word. I haven't either. We were earlier in the summer, we were in a... Um, level one, and then the the DCR or the DEP and DCR, they all meet on a month on a weekly or biweekly basis, and um, mm. we haven't been in any. I'm surprised. In August, we had five, over five inches here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, you think that you know, you always hear about Lennox and Lee and yeah, know, their restrictions or yeah. concerns anyway. Yeah, right. yeah. So we, um, yeah, and then. The, the information, the one of the guys, the the lead doctor that's doing this, David Bout, who's we saw on the on the Zoom meeting there a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. he's actually in Chile right now. He flew down Saturday because they're looking for lithium reserves. So he's he does he goes all over the world doing this kind of stuff geology wise. So um, they're gonna they're gonna start uh, analyzing all the the data and they'll feed me a little bit at a time. And it's pretty interesting that they, I was with them when they put all the sensors and I showed them a couple of seeps up on the mountain that usually run water almost all year round. And uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully they can mm. pin down. It just kind of, it just figures, you know, the time we started, the beavers chew the board off. The water dropped in the lake overnight, and then the beavers are damming up everything. So it's just the, the, the information right now is just kind of a little hokey, but they'll they'll be able to figure it out. They'll, they're going to fly the drone, the thermal drone in the spring because of turnover. Or did he say the fall? I can't the remember. Thermal drone. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he, spring. he flew it around the other day. Um, yep. Uh, and... And took pictures, and that's when the guys were out in the boat doing sampling, and it, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool what they're doing. Good, good. Um, the sewer repair in Glendale. Yeah, so that's going to get dug up sometime this month. I spoke to uh, our contractors yesterday, uh, so we're going to start with digging up right where we see it coming into the service, and there's no guarantee that that's where the source is. No kidding. So, I mean. We know it's coming in through that service, but it could be, you know, might not be right there. So it might be a, a guessing game as chasing it around, but we'll see. We're going to get after it. Can you, can you camera that to sort of pinpoint it? Or... Well, you can't go, you can only go back in and relook at the, where it's dropping in. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, so, you know, once we get it open, we can, we can camera up, up the service, mm -hmm. um, but you know, unfortunately, there's it's not in a manhole or anything where you have access to it. To, to, it's in a blind, you know, blind service T connection, but you know, right hook to the main. It's near. Um, is it near? Um, it's in between the old post office and the firehouse. Firehouse. Yeah, there's a little. I got an X 
painted in the road there, almost on the center line. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to be a good thing to get done. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely not helping. It's not anything crazy. I mean, we've got bigger ones that we know of that <laughs> we're working on as well. Yeah. <laughs> those are the ones that probably get out too. Yeah. 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 But no, it's going to get done this month. I've been assured by the, by my people. My people. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, the regulations <clears throat> pertaining to the... Uh, Remember, you submitted that, or you gave it to. I emailed Mike, you know, Mike again. And, um, I haven't heard anything from him because um, I'd really like to get this on the books. Yeah, I I agree. I will. Uh, I'll I'll call him tomorrow because I mean, he might just be missing. I know he's got a million irons in the fire. So I and I mean, and I know it's nice to run it by them, um, by him and. Uh, but you guys have the authority to make the rules and the regulations as you see fit. But yeah, it's nice to run that. Yeah, run that by yeah, I'd like to add yeah. anything to that. The wording and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Do we do we have anything on paper yet? Do we have anything written? The one thing that I emailed Mike had three months ago. Sent, yeah, they haven't yeah. had no additional. Story. No, I mean we can. I mean, I guess what what when when I'll call Mike tomorrow and talk to him about it, and then. We will. I can type it up, or he can type it up, or whatever. When and then that you guys can adopt it, and that'll be the language that yeah, gets put in. I'd like to see a copy of regulation. It. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tony, the uh, I, I didn't put it on here. But I always think of things afterwards. The uh, manholes in Beechwood. Has there been any <clears throat> movement on those? So I was going to bring that up in the, at the end here. I got a bunch of stuff written down, but okay. I might as well dive right into it. So, uh, yeah, we've we've gone up and marked several. We haven't been back up there since the summer, but Beachwood has kind of dropped the ball about what they're going to do with their road. They haven't moved on it at all, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, you know, he said that things move at a snail's pace up here as far as spending money. So I don't want to get out in front of him until they have their plan in place with foresight. So we're kind of at a stalemate at the moment with, I want to do it, but it's like, you yeah. know, we kind of have to coordinate where, right. you know, so. If they're not going to do anything. Yeah. Oh, uh, we'll wait till next year. Well, it, 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 well, it kind of correlates to our finishing up our study, which, you know, there's the lost manholes that they couldn't get into, but, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, we did, it, it, you know, if you, if you add those manholes to the, all the rest of them, it's probably not even 5% of our whole system yeah. that they haven't been able to open. But I'd, it'd like, it, I'd like to get to 100%, but it's a big thing. Did you say there were 20 manholes? There's more than that. It's a, it's a big, it's a good sized project. Oh, I remember, <laughs> remember them starting to dig up there. Yeah, it was, it's, it's a network up there. When you start pulling out maps and walking those roads, it's, it's a amazing. Lot of roads so much. a lot more than people think. Oh, yeah. They're all over the place. I mean, my goal was, I was hoping they were going to do, there, there was talk they were going to do 1,200 feet of the main Beachwood Drive. Mm -hmm. And that would open up and, and find all our main interceptors to all the little network roads, which would be nice to have mm -hmm. at least so we could, at least. if there was a problem, you could open that and say, yep, it's not flowing out. Uh, and then you move up that street and mm -hmm. if you got to dig, you got to dig, whatever. But or you can jet from there, maybe get lucky. I can't believe that they just they just poured gravel over the manholes and left them. I can. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's uh, well. I mean, if it's you know, it's easier than what I have to do. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> Listen, so if they don't do it this year, would it make sense that we could do a special art? I mean, we're never going to be able to go up there and dig forty manholes up. No, no, it was going to be out of the. The uh, sewer repairs that, oh, right, right, right. that I have already an article. Yeah. Well, it's not an article. It's kind of a generic. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing to use. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not, it's, I mean, I, I would think it would be maybe, I'm going to throw a wild guess number out of maybe twenty-five to $30,000. I mean, they don't have to repave or anything. They just have to reset. Mm -hmm. I know. So you don't have to, you don't have to break pavement. You just have to dig gravel. You don't have to re, you know. You have to re, you have to reblock, but you don't have to repave, which that's a lot of money mm -hmm. saved. Oh yeah, oh yeah, good. Yeah. Well, so that's the update. 
I have several more if you yes, want to yes. so <laughs> just leave them. All right. All right. There's a Tony Mike. I got I gotta do it. Here's the Park Street. Might be the last time we ever have to talk about it. But you got that, so, Jennifer? So 99.5% complete, I would say. Um, basically, there's a couple little punch list items. We haven't received the OM manuals yet from the uh, manufacturer uh, of the uh, the cabinetry in the pumps, which, you know, whatever, they, they do owe it to us and they are, they're working on it. They came last week and did some overseeding. Um, other than that, they've come and done a couple of little final checks to the, to the logic and everything and uh, the places. And we've had a couple ghost alarms this summer um, that they've looked into. They couldn't explain it, but they haven't happened. With when we first went online, uh, the place has been running great. Did you release the retainage? We're keeping 1%. Because that's how close we are to the okay. So we're, we're almost... To have enough teeth to get those two yeah, items done? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I, I, I think so. I mean, I don't see a problem with that. I mean, it's just the one I mean. So, yeah. Well, and we're using yeah. our we're using the few clicks and they could have them to you and get their money. Yeah, well, the, <laughs> the contractor's working on it. Believe me, they don't like to keep things like you said. It's I'm, been on my whiteboard way too long. You know, at least it's it's not at the top anymore, unfortunately. But and, or fortunately, um, so just go down through quickly. These aren't concerns. I just want to kind of give you guys updates. Glendale Pump Station. We were able to control the odor issues this this season very very well. We went. Uh, we had our uh, provider come out, <clears throat> take a look at our situation, and we um, went with a stronger oxidizer product that he um, provided us. And um, except for a couple isolated incidences where, the, where our pump got airbound, uh, of course, it was on a weekend, you know, the worst time it could happen, always. But um, it's, been, it's been pretty much a flawless season over there as far as odor control. That's great. Cause yeah, that used to be a. It was a. It was a real thorn in my side. Believe me, I. No. I've worked hard with with the with the neighbors with, with our people that provide us the the, the solutions. And you can't see it. You can't. See it. You can't see it. <laughs> Those things grow like weeds. Um, it's good. Uh, wastewater treatment plant. Um, our new sludge pump is installed. Was wired up last week. And um, as soon as our representative is back from his vacation this week, we're going to schedule a startup for that which was a special article from this past town meeting. Mm -hmm. So it's installed, piped in, flanged up, everything's ready to go. Uh, VFD connected, everything's connected. We just need to get um, a Penn Valley pump representative there, our electrician, and the people that installed the pump just there for when we started up to make sure if anything's wrong, if it spins backwards and the wire needs to be changed or whatever, um, everybody's on site just to um, validate, validate our warranty and everything mm -hmm. like that. Um, two or three of our wastewater pumps are rebuilt and reinstalled. The third is waiting on a pallet to be picked up and sent down to Springfield to be done. That was another special article from last year. So two or three are done, back installed, running well. Um, one to go. Um, as far as the plant as well, regular maintenance, uh, we've had a couple of unexpected breakdowns. We lost the clarifier motor, Don, you happened to be on site when that was going on. Um, Two or two weeks ago, <laughs> was there. yeah, we were all there. Um, you know, um, you know, just keeping up with things. Um, you know, plants coming up on forty years old. P things are going to start to happen. Um, so, you know, we we budgeted accordingly this year, and we'll have to think about that when, in the upcoming budget season again to increase a little bit more. It seems like every year we're chipping away at more. Mm -hmm. um, well, just the way it is. Um, we always been pro maintenance and and. Um, yeah, we try to be, and then you know it's amazing that, that way. Yeah, and then yeah, and then something bites you that you didn't anticipate. That's the way it always is. Yes, yeah. devil's advocate, if you will. Yeah. Uh, collection system. We've had some grease issues. Uh, we've had a couple backups. You saw us on Church Street a couple weeks ago. Uh, there was there was one three or four weeks ago on a Saturday. I was out of town, but Mike and and Marky took care of it. Um, so you know, I I just uh, you know we've always had an issue with grease in town, and people always claim they pump their grease traps. Um, the red line has been better, uh, but it's just always been that way. So we just have to keep an up closer eye on it. And you know, there's one at Michael's also a trap. Right? Each, everyone has, each, each restaurant has one, but you know, it's not up to me to be, I can't, I can't be, I can't police how it, often they service it's them. That's a board of health issue. They're, they're, they're supposed to report, but yeah. these things get lost. You know, they, they're supposed to, <clears throat> they're supposed to do it on 
specific intervals. And, yeah. And there's a report that this should, be, should be filed. Just like the bridge reports. Yes. <laughs> Bottom drawer. Uh, and that's about it. I think that's enough. Yeah. That, that's good. <laughs> Thanks. That's good updates. Mike? Um, the Sisto agreement, the old Sisto school, 3537 Interlaken. Um, I think I see, see you on the email there with yep. uh, town council on items to um, get in the agreement. A pretty thinking about it, and we're all not going to be here forever. And they're not, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with 3537 Interlaken. And it made a good sense to have an agreement just so the people that do own it, it's an agreement where they they need to maintain it, they need to keep it clean, uh, backup power. Um, offsite backup power is fine. We just wrote down a bunch of different stuff for them to, and I, and I, I know Patrick will um, be fine with it. We talked about it before, and then keeping he agreed to yeah, keeping the water main where it goes from the corner on Tree Farm near Tim uh, Minkler's out through the that's now kind of a little swampy, and this would be a great time to go in there and clear it because it's probably dry. Um, the uh, the keep the easement clean cleaned out and free of trees and brush um, on a you know biannual basis or whatever weed whack it or whatever so um and on that front with easements and off you know off the road stuff um our uh solitude lake manager will be a couple of ones that we have uh, they come out with that mush marsh master um and they'll do that and Is that on 102 yeah and then the one from bones to the pump house out through yep. the swamp. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we got a new customer. We did. We we uh, tapped and put on the water system last week. Was uh, South Hill Road, um, Ersfeld's old house. Uh, they own the building lot across the street, and they put a new house up. And we hooked them on the water system. They don't. They don't have. It's not turned on yet. But um, I got to call their plumber, Lee Provost, and uh, flush the line out and. Give the guy the meter and the, what about behind Donnie Holmes' house? Nothing yet. No permits for that not, water. Not that or I, no. No. Okay. I went by there a week or two ago and I I don't know if I remember seeing crosses or rafters or Yeah, they're working on it. Yeah. House of cards. Yeah. <laughs> Which house? It's not on top of Castle Hill. Yeah. Glendale. It's the big field. It looks like it's a pretty good size house. Yeah. That's all I got. Okay. Peter? All set. Good. Glad you're here, Peter. I made it. I got my days. You know, sometimes when you're not doing anything. <laughs> See? See? That's the thing. I, you know, I, I, one, I day, up both, one day is both another of my appointment, by the way. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Jennifer got back to you too. It was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that meant I missed the one I thought I had a conflict with too. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If there's nothing else, John. Oh, I got nothing. Somebody make a motion when we adjourn. So move. So move. Thank Hi, you. everyone. Great. See you next yeah. month.